the topic for this video is UV mapping. <coughs> so I have here a simple bottle model. It has been assigned a material that has a texture, the same texture in two slots, in the base color slot and in the displacement map. So if you look at the texture, we see it's uh, <coughs> a simple image and um, it's set to mapping channel one and no simple uh, no specific mapping changes just no offset no repeat just all on one and so on <coughs> so if we look at how it looks at the moment let's start with rendered mode well, maybe let's start with ray traced mode after all so it doesn't look as we want the logo we want to appear here around the base of, of the bottle and just once so let's see how we can go about doing that <coughs> for now let's be in shaded mode or maybe even wireframe mode uh, what we want to start doing is add a mapping a texture mapping so we go to the properties tab and in that to the t texture mapping section and we see it's currently set to surface mapping <coughs> so there's no specific UV mapping set just just what the surface generates by itself now for this bottle it makes sense to use a cylindrical mapping since we are having a, a mainly cylindrical shape so we start by clicking the apply cylindrical mapping button and I'll pick this point here that I already placed, so I have two points here, one uh, at the lower end for where I want uh, the mapping to start and where I want the mapping to end so let's pick that one oh, maybe, maybe I should do it a bit better because this was not good um, let's add cylindrical mapping and I'll make sure that I actually have the point oh, like so okay so I start at the base of the, the start of the cylinder and I go to the end of the cylinder which I let go to the upper point and I need to still choose kept or not in this case it does not have to be kept we just want the text to be on the side so I s select no for kept so right now our object has now a cylindrical mapping <coughs> and it's on uh, channel mapping channel 1 because we don't have uh, multiple mappings by default this code to mapping channel 1 now if I look at the, our texture or our, our material with the textures in our uh, texture is set to mapping channel 1 as well so now if we look at ray traced again we can see it's kind of mapped now in the cylindrical fashion but you see it's being repeated so to combat that I'm going to set this to no repeat and I uh, toggle away from ray trace because uh, we have a texture and displacement and live updates of the changes to displacement does not really work properly yet with ray traced <coughs> okay so now we have disabled the repeat and we see we have only in the area where where I set the uh, cylindrical mapping we have the, the texture so it's not going outside of the of the area so you have to uh, think that the start of the cylinder we, we put it in the lower point toward the, towards the end of the um, cylinder so that's our essentially our y or v uh, coordinates in the, in the texture space and it goes entirely around so because it now goes entirely around we have to uh, play a bit with the repeat 
to make sure that the, the image or the mapping area essentially that we use uh, is only in this in this part right uh, since we have now no repeat it also makes ensure that we have only the one image instead of having multiple images around so let's see how, how that goes um, maybe maybe I start by disabling the displacement map because then we can do the mapping changes live it's maybe a bit harder to see now since we are having a glass but let's leave it on glass because it looks quite nice anyway um, so we go back to our uh, texture and we need to change now the repeat so we are going to read the U so around uh, around the cylindrical form not from bottom to top bottom to top was V as I explained earlier so the U we have to change so let's start for instance with 2 let's see what it does okay we see now that the image is essentially twice done let's maybe take out the repeat so we have now still the repeat on both the u uh, uh, the v direction but also in the u direction we can see now that our our logo is twice in here so maybe let's see if four is a good number four is starting to become a bit better oh and actually i don't want to repeat it differently on on the v-axis so i'm going to disconnect the the uh, constraint between the u and the v of the repeat and set the v again back to one so now we see our logo starts to look quite good maybe five let's try now five is squishing it a bit too much so i, I think four and a half maybe is quite good yeah that looks quite good now i press again the no repeat because I want to have this only once so now we have with cylindrical mapping we have created a case where <coughs> where um, we are now able to have the image in just the one location and especially where possible you should use this type of primitive texture mappings so planar box spherical or cylindrical because uh, in most cases it will ensure that both rendered mode and ray traced mode can uh, directly use the textures without having to pre-bake them and baking in can take quite a while especially if you have a very complex object that you are texturing so let's see if I briefly go to shaded mode and then in the texture or in the material re-enable the displacement map so it's still in there and it's an instance so when I update one the other updates as well because as, as you can see here it says instanced if you had would have two different uh, textures in here to, so no not an instance of each other then but you need to have the same mapping so this mapping here then what you would do is select both so hold, hold shift and hold, uh, select all the textures from the material that you want to update at the same time and then you can change the repeat or the rotation or the offset and so on and the settings that you, the changes you make here will be applied to all the textures not necessary here they these are instanced so let's see what happened if we can check now we can see that there is displacement going on now on the outside of the of the bottle and let's see if I increase a tiny bit the displacement let's maybe put it up on this value 
ray traced. See, this looks quite nice. So this is a way to apply a an image to a, an object through texture mapping using uh, mapping primitives. And as you see, when I uh, change to ray traced mode, there's no baking going on for the texture. It's just directly using the texture as is. I can see it's a, a little bit blocky here, but that's just because our texture is quite low resolution anyway, 256 by 256 pixels. So essentially you're seeing a bit of the pixels on these. Having a higher resolution would make these probably go a bit better and actually it also depends a bit on the density of, of your custom render mesh or the render mesh of the object so if we check show render mesh we see that this object has already quite dense or very dense uh, mesh anyway right, render mesh like so Thanks for watching.